Hi there folks, you're watching the Black Powder Shooter 44 channel. Um, I had a request to do a disassembly, cleaning and reassembly video of a Remington pocket revolver, so let's get to it. Okay, so first step is to take out the cylinder. And to do that, you can put the gun on half cock, drop the loading lever, pull out the base pin, and it'll fall right out. Um, one thing with the cylinder, as you can see, the nickel plating, this gun's nickel plated, it's been flaking off the cylinder and I don't know where to get a replacement cylinder but I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna try to nickel plate it maybe myself or have someone do it alright so for screwdrivers I normally use gunsmithing screwdrivers because they're shaped slightly different to regular screwdrivers and they won't booger up the screws but I don't have any uh, uh, my gunsmithing screwdrivers aren't made small enough for this little guy uh, this is a gunsmithing screwdriver here I got some other bits for it. it's Chapman man manufacturing and they make very good screwdrivers and I can use this for a few screws on the gun but not all of them so I'm gonna be using a lot of this cobalt uh, one and it has other bits here too that I'm gonna use so I'll keep these out and uh, and also this other jeweler's set, uh, jeweler's screwdriver, and you can use those too. So, um, I'll get, get to this. First step is, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can work. Alrighty. First step, I want to take out this loading lever screw. Hopefully I'm not totally blocking the view of this. And I'm just gonna unscrew that. Pull the lever out. And then pull the. And actually, the base pin won't come out on this gun because it's. The loading lever catch gets in the way and it can't come out. But it's not a big deal. It doesn't really need to come out for a deep cleaning or something. But uh, I'll keep the screw together. I like to keep all the parts together when I'm doing disassemblies. When I'm taking these guns apart. So, uh, next part, I'm gonna take off the uh, trigger guard here. I'm just gonna unscrew that. I'm gonna pull that off. And I'll keep this screw together and I'll set that aside. <clears throat> Next step is to remove this screw here, and I can use my gunsmithing screwdriver for that. I'm just gonna unscrew that. Gotta be careful of these screws because they're really soft. Uh, they booger up so easy. All right, that guy came out. Now I'm just take my screwdriver here and just kind of pull that one out there. Put this part together and then I'm going to set it aside. Next, I'm going to take out the trigger, trigger screw. And I'm just going to screw this. Pull that out. Oh, the trigger fell out. And there's one other part in there that's going to come out. It's the. See the bolt here? I'm just going to take a screwdriver and push it out a little bit. And you could just lift up and pull it out. Just like that, you know. And you can pull it out just like that. Now I'll put this here and I'm going to put this aside. And next step, I'm going to take off the grips here. I think I got that off enough. Yep, this grip just falls right out. And take that screw out. And I just need to give this a little tap, the wood. Just give it a little tap. I just got a sharpie here. I'm just going to. 
give it a give it a tap and it comes out. Don't use something that will break the wood, like a piece of metal or something. I would kind of be scared to do that. And I just keep these together, set it aside for now. Now uh, one tricky part is removing this thing and I got a tool that just right for that. This is a uh, Tracker Wolf sells this tool. This is for removing um, Colt style uh, wedges, the wedges on Colt cap and ball revolvers. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to put it on two boards here. I'll move the can adjust the camera for this. All right, so here I got two boards, and I just put this cloth thingy over it just to support this, so it could come out. And I'm going to take my wedge tool, and I'm just going to tap it a little. He said. And it slipped off. Hard to do going around a camera. <clears throat> and just give it a little tap. Don't hit don't hit it very hard. And it's pretty much out. I just need to coax it a little more. Come on now. Alright, it's out. It's really not hard to do. So here we go. This is the mainspring here. I'll set that aside. Alright, brought this back over here. Now I'm going to remove the hammer screw and I could use my uh, gunsmithing screwdriver for this and uh, comes right out now the next step is to push the hammer down and you got the screw right here and you un it's not focusing just focusing, yeah. What you do is you just unscrew this, the hand, the hand screw. The hand comes out the bottom of the frame. It just like a Bremington 1858 New Model Army would, and then the hammer comes out the top of the frame. So you push down, take this, pull this out. Once you unscrew it, and then you pull this guy, the hammer out of the top of the frame. Now I must admit. Uh, <laughs> This screw just won't come. I've never been able to make it come. It's just kind of stuck in there. I put a little PB blaster on it, and hopefully that'll loosen it up over time. I don't know. But sorry about that. It just won't budge for me. <laughs> but that's what you do. It's very simple. And now to clean it. Now, what I would do to clean it is take my mixture of ballastol and water, and I would just spritz the whole frame, you know, down the barrel, everywhere. And I'll wipe that all off, use Q-tips, get in any of the little nooks and crannies, wipe out any fouling. And uh, what I like to do to clean the bore is uh, I like to use a bore snake, a 30 caliber bore snake. And you just run this, just run this through the barrel. And it cleans out pretty good of just one pass through. And you can do it a couple times, then I'll just run a couple patches through there, you know, pick up any any extra fouling that I may have missed. And then uh then it's all clean. And what I do when I'm all done is I take some pure ballastol and I put that on a patch and I just send it down the barrel and oil everything up and then you're done. Uh, one thing with nickel plating is you don't want to leave a heavily heavy oil fin uh, coating because it could peel the uh, coating, nickel nickel plating, and my gun started to do that anyway. Uh, my Ballastol, it supposedly won't uh, lift nickel plating, but I don't know. But my gun started to do that a little bit, as you can see. And one more thing with the cylinder, I'm going to show you that I have this Ted Cash number 10 ratcheting nipple wrench or pistol nipple wrench and uh, I got this head here and this uh, will work on uh, this po the pocket Remington see it fits in there nice and snug and you can unscrew the nipples right like, like that just show you move one remove one here real quick comes right out so this this nipple wrench works for this gun in case you're wondering. So I'm gonna stick this back in and then we'll get back onto the reassembly. Alright, we're gonna get this reassembled here. First thing I'm gonna do is put in the 
hammer screw. I'm just gonna screw that back in. Got that. Now I'm gonna put in this spring here. Now I plug like the hammer, bring it back to about there, and I'll just kind of slide this in there under the hammer and fit it into that slot there. And it's not hard. You just slide it right up in there, and it's falling back out on me. Okay, just stick it in there like that so the hole lines up. Now I'll take my trigger. And I'm going to stick that in there too, so that the hole lines up, just like that. So you can see, you can see air through both ends. Stick the screw in, and what I do with my screwdriver, it's right in front of me. And I'm just going to screw this back in. Okay. Now I'm going to take this trigger bolt return spring here and the longer end there's a little little spur thingy on the on the top of the trigger there and I'm just going to fit that onto that right there and it fits over nice and, nice and smoothly over there and I'm going to Try to get this lined up. The screw won't go in straight. All right. And I'm just going to screw that in. Now, if these screws, you don't want to over torque anything. Whoops. Just get it nice and hand tight. So, I'm going to put the mainstream back in now. Get it all tensioned back up. There's a little roller roller cam under the hammer that I want to get this under you just stick it up there and into the slot right here now you see that won't go right in so what I have to do is take a pencil or something and this is just a brass rod here and I'm just gonna slightly ever so slightly bend it around that and I'll just take a plastic mallet and give it a little tap and let's give it a little tap back in there and I need a little more let me just put it over here and do it okay there we go as you can see we got a fully functioning gun now and I'm gonna cover the trigger back up Put the gun a full cock because you got this little thingy there that has a slot that needs to fill, uh, fit in, and it won't do it when it's uh, not cocked. I found on my gun. And what I do? Okay, you put this trigger guard back on. Okay, I'm going to screw that back on and tight it. Get nice and get it on there hand tight. Now I'm going to put the grips back on. Stick the back one on. And put this screw in. Where's my screwdriver I need? And right here. And you just screw it in like this. And I got that back on there. Now I'll put the loading lever on. Just fit it up there and line up the holes. and screw that back in. 
pop the cylinder back in, put some half cock, give it a see it's spin to a clicks like that. Oops. And I can't get it back in. Alright. <laughs> and there we go. Fully functioning. Back together. So I hope this video helped you. And uh yeah, if you found this helpful, please like the video and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments or questions or anything, just leave them in the comment section below. Please let me know what you thought of the video. Thank you. And uh, until next time, have a good day.